Connacht as well. Um, Joe Warren, if it's a show ra- slow race, it'll, mm-hmm. it'll, it'll be in the mix. And, and Philip Marin could be a, an outside uh, bet here, I think. I suppose he couldn't really rate Kieran Kelly either. He's been there so many times. Absolutely. Just see him barging his way through there at the start, not to get too mixed up and whatever. But as expected, Aaron Shorten from St. Lawrence O'Toole is going to take this out. They'll let, they'll let Aaron go and they'll try and reel him in later on. So... Aaron, a 153, 800 meter athlete, really good juvenile, step it up now to 1500s. But it's Owen Pierce with Philip Marin leading the field out, and they're about 32, 33 seconds through the first 200. So they're they're it's it's not too fast, but it's not too slow at the minute. Yeah, Aaron taking it out as usual. He did it yesterday, and the guys did eventually reel him in, but managed to get through as a fastest loser. So. How will he get on today? We'll soon see. So now, Juan Ignacio Pena takes it on. They're going to close this gap pretty quickly, it looks like, on Aaron Short and Owen Pierce then in second place. And then Kieran Kelly from Rahini Shamrock. Philip Marin right there as well. And then Kieran Sexton from Dublin City Harriers. Joe Warren. Michael Murphy then from Tullamore Harriers a year after a major heart operation year great to, to the see day. him in the final fantastic to, to, see him fantastic and to see him Michael in the final nobody loves their athletics more than him you'd know him well from his DCU indeed I want to he's a Reds captain of DCU and great to see him out here so now the field well bunched up together now Juan Ignacio Pena Kieran Sexton Owen Pierce, Kieran Kelly Philip Marin just tucked Bunched in there a little bit, then Michael Murphy is moved himself up into third place. So we'll come round into the home straight. Still very early days. So now Michael Murphy decides he's going to take it on from Tullamore Harriers. And while Ignacio Pena sits on his shoulder, his clubmate Kieran Kelly just on the outside, and then Owen Pierce just tracking those guys now. Then Philip Marin, you can see just on the outside, covering the move by Owen Pierce. So 210, 209, 210 through 800 metres. So it's a decent pace being set. I'm going to be probably in the low 350s, I'd say, because it'll be a burn-up, Rory, I'd say, over this last 400 yeah, metres. Yeah, Murphy so. just got maybe two, three, four metres on it. Well, I think she have had it there. So since we're trying to stretch these guys out, let's see if it will pay off for him. So we can see the field is really well strung out there now. So this has been a nice move by Michael Murphy. 239 out of 1,000 metres. Juan Ignacio Pena in second place. Own Pierce tracks him. Kieran Kelly's going to fancy his chances. Philip Marin. And then we have Kieran Sexton and Joe Warren. And they're just beginning to open up a little bit of a gap over the rest of the field. They'll come up now. 400 metres to go. Michael Murphy, Pena, Owen Pierce. And then look on the outside here from Dublin City Harriers. Kieran Sexton mis- put himself right in the mix. He's going to make this long move from home. But it looks as though Owen Pierce is going to cover it. And here comes Kieran Kelly. And Philip Marin, 300 to go. So now Philip Marin's made his move. Kieran Kelly's covered that move. Owen Pierce is in third place. Joe Warren, four. Penna looks to be gone at this stage. There's three of them going to hit the bell together. Kieran Kelly from Philip Marin, from Owen Pierce. Joe Warren, four. Now Penna trying to make his way back. So will Kieran Kelly, he won his first national title at the indoors a few years ago. Is he going to be able to hold on for the last 100 metres? Owen Pierce had to go wide to try and come around the outside and now it looks as though Owen Pierce will have enough to take him on. Owen Pierce kicks him on. Philip Marin looks to come on under the shoulder in second place. Kieran Kelly, Penn maybe going to be third. But Owen Pierce going to take this. Owen Pierce from Clonic Harriers adds his second indoor title. Half a task for Forrest there for Owen Pierce. Made his move at the right time. Kick for home and it paid dividends. Fantastic to see him back after three, four years on now from his last national senior title. So the athletes we thought that were going to be in the mix were right there. They were battled the whole way right up that home straight. It looked as though Owen Pierce was in control. He took it easy enough then in the end. You can see there it did take a bit of an effort out of him. 354 28. Philip Marin then 354 64 in second place. He'll be delighted with that. The whole Rado team will be happy with that. And then Kieran Kelly hangs on for third place in 355 exactly. So we can see here, Rory, coming into the home straight, no doubt who's going to win it here, but it was whether Philip Marin could hold on, and he easily did, but the two Rahini men battled oh, yeah, it out. Fantastic battle for the bronze medal between the two. 